Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I need to close my door. I'm stupid. Anyway, today I have a really really exciting video. If you hear my dogs pawing at the door, please ignore it. This is a very janky last minute setup. But I have something to unbox and review. I can't show the back because that's where my address is, but... So... So today what I have to unbox is going to be um, my aerial gown. I got this from a company called Angel Secret, and just a disclaimer, I'm not sponsored. This was not given to me for free. I bought this with my own money. Uh, Everything in this review is going to be my honest, completely honest opinion. Also, I love this new wig so much. It's so pretty. Uh, anywho. But yeah, so this is the P390 uh, aerial pink dress. This also does come in a green variation. There also is a cheaper version of this dress. It's more like uh, of the animated accurate. Um, but this dress did cost about $249 and I had to get Express on it because of COVID. So pay attention to the COVID warnings on the website if you're thinking about buying this. Um, so my review might be a little bit more thorough simply because this costs a lot of money. And yeah, but I heard about this company through the grapevine on Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and start opening it. Uh, very excited. Uh, I heard about this company uh, on Instagram and through other YouTube videos, so I decided to go ahead and order this gown because I fell in love with it. And it's really funny considering I actually do not like the color pink. Um, it's actually one of my least favorite colors. <laughs> I can rip it apart. I can see it and I'm so excited. Um, but. Oh man, it's big, Jesus. I knew it was gonna be big. Like I have a huge hoop skirt for it and everything, but it's wrapped in another layer of tissue paper. So I'm just gonna, or well like plastic, I guess. And all of their dresses, at least for their princess dresses, are all custom made. So they are made to your measurements. So I'm really gonna hope that this fits. Um, I ordered this dress on the 31st. Today is the 17th, I believe, um, of August. I ordered it on the 31st of July. Um, they do say it takes about 10 to 8 to 15 days to make. I got the confirmation that it shipped the 13th. And I had express shipping, so it came a little bit faster. This, I guess, is just info about it with my name on it so that they know which one was mine let her out free the dress oh my god so this is what it looks like it's very neatly packed which i appreciate oh my god it's already gorgeous i'm gonna cry um yeah so everything's custom made so it takes about 10 to 15 days to make and it took about a 10 or 11 for them to actually ship my package out so it fits within their timeline um and the uh shipping i got the express because for the united states at the time that i ordered this they were not doing airmail um they um said that for the united states you'd have to do express because of the covid um restrictions so yeah anyway now that i have it unlaced so it's gonna come in a couple pieces from what i understand so this is the bodice and oh she's gorgeous oh my gosh so this bodice actually does have some like boning in it it's very flexible boning mind you so it's not like a corset totally doesn't smell funky we're good but like look at the bodice look at how gorgeous it's got lace and pearls, and these are the big puffy sleeves. Ooh, these are really soft. So the, here are the sleeves, and then the, this is very stretchy, too. And then there's a little ringlet thing that goes on your finger so that, like, the sleeves stay up. And they're, it's very nice. It's a satiny material, and this is, like, this dress comes, like, the exact same in green. The lace, oh my god, I'm in love with this. 
So I'm, I'm very curious to see if everything fits. And then here are the straps because it's supposed to be like a shoulderless dress. So that's that. So now we're getting on to the big boy. <laughs> oh, this is really nice. So this actually comes in a garment bag. So this, my dogs are trying to get in. So this is actually pretty well protected. Or actually, no, this is inside out. I was like, oh yeah, a garment bag. No, this is inside. Holy crap, the skirt is heavy. <laughs> oh my god, this is so many more layers than I thought it was going to be. Oh my god. I'm going to get lost. <laughs> I'm going to get lost in the dress. Holy crap, this is heavy. Oh my gosh, okay. So I flipped it inside out. Or on inside out, and this is... This is gonna be so hard. You're gonna see it when I do the previews of it, so like, I'm not too. So this is the satiny material, and then there's all this tool um, here, which I really love, and it's like a very light pink. And then the underneath of the skirt, I believe, is like the same kind of tool. But God, it is heavy. Like, she is big, like large, large. I'm very excited. I have a huge hoop skirt. I'm praying that the hoop skirt fits underneath. Um, but yeah, so that's, this is huge. Oh my God, this is massive. Um, hold on a second. Let me check the bodice. Did this not come with the ribbon? Excuse me? Hold on a second, I may be missing the ribbon for the bodice. I could have also dropped it like the dumbass I am, so like, but I don't see it. Oh dear, this is kind of concerning. I hope that I'm just missing it or that it's somewhere. I do not see the ribbon for the bodice, oh no. Oh, don't crush my dreams like this, please. Oh my god, please. Please let me just be an idiot and, like, have dropped it. Like, dumbass I am. Like, I... So, I'm going to attempt to try this on. I'm going to try and hope and pray that the ribbon for the bodice is here. So, I'm going to try and find that and try this dress on, hopefully. And cry if it's not here, so... So here's the part in the video where I get to talk about my opinions on the dress as well as going over all the little details of it and just talking about what I liked and maybe what I didn't like. So let's get into it by starting with the sleeves. The sleeves are made out of this very stretchy soft material that goes down the length of the arm and then a double layered satin uh, for the puffy bits lined with a really beautiful lace and pearl trim that continues into the neckline of the bodice. And then we have this beautiful lace piece down the front of the bodice that just gives an extra bit of flair to a dress that in the cartoon was super simple and in real life it just gives it a beautiful touch. So the dress laces up with that satin ribbon that I did find. It's the only part that's a little difficult just because of the material. It's really hard to tighten the bodice around yourself. So the skirt pleasantly surprised me quite a bit considering how well it hides the boning in my hoop skirt because there's just layers and layers of tulle with a light pink underskirt underneath that and then there's another smaller skirt underneath that that's just a plain white. When you spin in this dress, it is so light and so airy because of all of that tulle, and it just makes you feel like a princess. Now the tulle itself feels pretty strong. It's not cheap tulle. It feels like if I were to step on it a couple times, it's not just going to rip to shreds, which is something I would hope for the amount I paid for this. Um, the back seemed a little light on tulle, but I think that's because I didn't distribute the skirt evenly over my hoop, so I don't think that's the dress's fault at all. And then we've got those really nice satin hip pieces. Overall, the skirt seems really durable, and I'm really happy with how many layers it is and the fact that I didn't have to wear an extra petticoat under it. So this is where I get to talk about if I think this gown is worth it. 
And the answer is absolutely. For the price and for everything, you get an amazing, beautiful quality gown. And I am so in love with this dress. This version of Ariel being one of my dream cosplays, it hits every mark that I wanted it to. I don't think there's a single thing more that I could have asked for in this dress because everything from the quality to the fit to just how I feel in it is amazing. I've never felt more like a princess in my life, so I would 100% absolutely recommend this dress to you guys. I will leave links to it down below, including my wig and my hoop skirt. Um, and the dress itself, of course, but oh my god, guys, I'm so in love with this. I just want to wear it 24-7. But yeah, I'm so excited to cosplay Ariel more with you guys and show you this dream cosplay of mine. But yeah, so if you guys like me and like cosplay, hit subscribe down below to see more cosplay-related content. And leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the review. And feel free to comment any cosplay-related video ideas if you have any or want me to talk about something, and I'll take a look. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, go. Go. Bye. Go. Raina, go. Thank you. That's wasn't me come back. No, ma'am. Raina, go. <laughs> go. I don't know where she is. She's still just chewing. <laughs>